Hi, welcome back. So as you'll know, if you watched my previous videos, and I urge you to do that, um, I've been taking NMN since the 22nd of April 2019. Uh, my ultimate aim was to get up to one gram a day, which I did on the 1st of November uh, 2019. Prior to that, I had my blood taken and analysed so that I knew what the baseline was before I started the next phase of my experiment, which was to um, which was to up my dose to one gram of NMN, one gram of resveratrol, and one gram of TNG. And then after six months, maybe nine or a year after that, I would have my blood tested again to see what the differences were, if any, having now up my, my regime, if you like, to one gram a day of each of these supplements. So let's have a look at my blood stats uh, and the results that I received um, in November. So let's jump into the results. All I'm going to do is talk about and highlight where my score has fallen outside of the normal reference range. Um, please feel free to stop the video, uh, to pause it, and to look at all of the other stats in detail. You may see something that I've missed. Um, invariably, I do miss things, and if I do, um, I'd like you to comment below, draw my attention to it, um, and if you have some information or you have some advice on something I may have missed, then please inform me and everyone else who watches the video so we can get the, the most benefit from my blood stats. Um, so without further ado, let's jump into the into the stats. So here we are on the first page, which covers some of my uh, blood stats. Um, you'll notice here that they're all within range. Uh, if you pause the video, uh, one question I did have, if you look at my absolute monocyte, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, uh, it tells me my score is 0 0.2 and the range is 0 0.0 to 0 0.9. Um, a question I'd like to ask is, is it okay to be anywhere in the range or should you be shooting for the middle? Um, and that's a similar question to lots of the, um, the scores I've got. If it's in the range, is that okay or does it does it need to be in the centre of the range for it to be 100% uh, okay? So the second page is more on my blood stats and this is blood sugar. Um, and my A1C level is 5.79 and that's got me down as an increased risk which is is not particularly good uh, then I looked at my average blood glucose level and that was 119 and that's got me down as excellent control uh, and that didn't make sense to me so as I normally do I turn to Dr Eric Berg um, and he says that the HB a1c test is not as effective as a blood glucose level test because it doesn't measure the levels directly uh, and i'll leave a link in that video in the description below so you can look at it um, if you disagree with what he says or what i've just said again please um, leave your comments in the, in the description below so the next page is my cholesterol uh, my cholesterol total was 232 and that puts me at moderately high um, again which isn't ideal it's 32 above what they what they consider desirable I was happy with my um, triglycerides because I know that they're dangerous uh, if they're high and my number is quite low my HDL is okay but my LDL is high. Now it's a, a known fact that if you're a low carb, high fat diet, as I am, and some of you may be, that your LDL cholesterol level will go up. Um, so I'm not too concerned about that. And I put a link in the description below, again, to a video by Dr. Nadia Ali. Uh, he talks about citizen scientists and also about why it isn't... Um, bad news necessarily if your LDL cholesterol levels are high. 
Uh, obviously, the doctor that went through these stats with me wanted to start me on statins immediately, which as a citizen scientist, as I now am edging towards becoming, and I'm sure some of you are as well, uh, I declined. I think the 1% chance that statins work um, is greatly outweighed by the by the chance of side effects such as Parkinson's disease, muscle damage, nerve damage, etc. And I put a link again in the description below to a video that explains some of the side effects of taking statins. Um, my VLDL cholesterol level is 20.36, which is less than 30, which is what it should be. Uh, and the very dense cholesterol is, I believe, the dangerous stuff because it can clog your arteries. And it's good to have that number low, which mine is, uh, thankfully. So the next page is my liver profile. Uh, my globulin is low, 1.67, and it should be a minimum of 2.5. And my albumin globulin ratio is 2.86 and it should be a maximum of 2.5 so that's high um the doctor seemed concerned about this and he wanted to do another test immediately and i said now if that test comes out exactly the same how are you going to treat it what are we going to do uh, because obviously it costs more money for another test or he can charge my medical insurance more money for a test so rather than do another test immediately um, I wanted to see what I could do myself to perhaps put this right. Uh, and all he came back with was just drink m more water, which I didn't think was a particularly interesting or helpful um, suggestion. So I, I did a bit of research and decreased globulin levels uh, can be due to uh, malnutrition. I don't think that's me. Uh, immune deficiency. Most of these are inherited through single gene disorders and they present in infancy or early childhood. So again, I don't think that's me. Uh, nephrotic syndrome, uh, he, he said that the other markers, when I did say to him, what are the, what are the things that it could be? Uh, other markers in my blood test didn't lean towards this. And then the other thing he mentioned was that it could be acute dehydration. So at the time I was taking creatine as a supplement which can dehydrate you um, so I stopped taking that more as a nootropic um, I was taking it really I've stopped taking that and I have started to drink more water so my next blood test hopefully these these um, numbers will have improved um, also the numbers that I've got here when I read a couple of articles and again I put the links in the descriptions below these figures can point towards um, kidney disease being one of the reasons. So that's something that um, when I get my second blood test done is something I will talk to the, the doctor about. Um, the subsequent test that I'm going to do or have had done, I haven't got the results yet, um, is covered under my medical insurance. So as soon as I get those results, then I will, I will post them. It's been about four months since I had this test done, so no creatine and a lot more water for four months. I'm hoping we'll have put these figures right, but we'll see uh, when I get my results back. So the next one is also to do with liver. Uh, and these, again, were all uh, high, which again, was quite concerning and again some of the the reasons that these could be high is also kidney disease so again when I spoke to the doctor and said the first doctor said what can we do about this again all he said was drink more water the second doctor hasn't made any comment yet they're going to wait until I get the results and we'll um, we'll see what they say there uh, elevated creatinine levels again signifies impaired kidney function or kidney disease which is which is a bit disturbing um, but again we'll see what happens with the second test uh, high levels of urea in the blood are an indication of nitrogen waste products uh, being high this occurs because the kidneys fail to filter out the waste as they should 
uh, urea nitrogen levels tend to increase with age. Um, infants have lower levels um, than other people do. Generally, high blood nitrogen levels means that your kidneys aren't working well. So again, all of these seem to point towards some kind of issues with my kidneys. Uh, again, the first doctor advised me to have another test immediately uh, and to drink more water. Now, I'm sure there is some cause for concern, but not with the way that the first doctor reacted, because um, if you have all your medical um, issues dealt with through uh, insurance, you'll know that doctors are very keen to do more tests, probably more tests that need to be done because they can claim on your insurance. Um, but all these levels will be checked, uh, have been checked, and once I get the results back, then I will share them with you. Uh, the next result is for my thyroid, and you can see that all of these are within range. So that's um, that's good news. The next one is iron. Again, all my iron scores are well within range. So again, that's good news. Um, my testosterone level was 20.8 and it should be between 28.7 and a minimum of 8.4 so the score is good there is another test i can do you can see this one here is the bio silver test that i paid for there is a bio gold test that costs 245 dollars i may try that one uh, at the six month point after this or maybe nine or a year to see if i can get more detail on the testosterone um, levels um, the next one was vitamin D. So mine falls within the low or insufficient level, which again isn't particularly good. Um, low blood levels of the vitamin have been associated with uh, increased risk of cardiovascular disease, cognitive impairment, aspirin in children, inflammation, cancer and osteoporosis. Um, you're also likely to have low vitamin D levels if you're a vegan or a vegetarian because a lot of foods that are high in vitamin D are things like fish, fish oils, egg yolks, milk, liver um, and the like. So vegetarians will have, could have low vitamin D levels. I'm not a vegan or a vegetarian. Um, more sunlight as well as foods that are high in vitamin D is a way to boost that. So I will increase my vitamin D type foods, which will be eggs and fish, which is what I normally eat or which I do regularly eat. Uh, and I will try to spend more time outside. Luckily here in the Emirates, uh, it's sunny nearly every day. So I will start either walking or biking to the gym um, to increase my exposure to sunlight. Um, if anyone's got any other ideas on how you can up your vitamin D levels, I would be um, very grateful of that information. Uh, vitamin B12, 518, uh, well within the um, the reference range. So no problem with my vitamin B12. Then my uh, urine tests. Um, all of these look okay. Um, the doctor didn't men mention any issues. I looked at the WBC's scores, which the range should be from zero to five, and I was 2.4, so I'm not sure um, where I stand with that. Um, the complete blood cell test often includes a measurement of the level of leukocytes in the white blood cells. Higher levels um, may may uh, indicate some kind of infection, which none of the other markers led to that. So I don't think there's an infection. Uh, if you do have um, leukocytes in your urine, the symptoms may vary. And I've looked at the symptoms and they are a frequent urge to urinate, which I don't have, uh, a burning sensation, which I don't have, cloudy or pink tinted urine, which I don't have, uh, strong smelling, Luckily, I don't, uh, and pelvic pain, especially in women, uh, and I don't, I don't suffer from any pelvic pain at all. 
Um, again, all this will be tested in the follow-up. Um, this is one of the questions that I asked the, the second doctor, and she said that they, we would be able to look at that for my second, um, uh, when I get my second results back. Um, so that's it for the um, blood test results. So those are the results, uh, and I think all in all, they look quite good, apart from the, the specific ones to do with um, the liver stats. Uh, I'm going to look at a natural way initially to up my vitamin D levels. So I'll walk or I will um, ride my bike to the gym, uh, as I've changed gyms and it's a lot closer now. Uh, it's sunny pretty much every day here. If after six to eight months when I get my bloods checked again, the vitamin D level is still low, then I may look at um, supplementation as a way to um, increase my vitamin D if I can't do it through food and through sunlight. Uh, once I get the results for the, the liver, liver issues that we spoke about earlier, then I will post those and let you know what's happening with regard to that. Uh, as usual, please comment below if you think uh, I've missed anything, if I've missed the mark, or if, as I do, you think the stats look generally okay, um, apart from the, the liver ones. So thanks for watching. Uh, as always, take care and uh, bye for now.